seven American and four Nigerian personnel fled U.S. Vehicle 1, evading under concentrated small arms and mortar fire. They moved through the swamp, broke contact with the enemy, and stopped at the clearing on the northwest side of the wooded area. The team established a hasty defense at this location at approximately 12.50 hours. They wrote short messages to loved ones on personal devices, believing they would soon be overrun. By 13.11 hours, two U.S. unarmed, unmanned aerial vehicles arrived on station, establishing communications with both the team and inbound French aircraft. Two French Mirage aircraft arrived at 13.18 hours, but were unable to determine friend from foe. The French performed two shows of force at 13.20 and 13.25 hours. At this time, the enemy ceased pursuing the team, but remained in the area. A team member moved into a clearing, waving an American flag to the helicopters to establish their identity as friendly forces. A Nigerian response force arrived by vehicle at the team's location and mistook the team for enemy forces, firing on them for 48 seconds with automatic weapons until they were positively identified. Fortunately, no one was injured further. Enabling the French helicopters to land at 16.55 hours and evacuate the team 31 minutes later. On October 6th, as nationally controlled personnel recovery elements staged for the search and recovery of Sergeant Le David Johnson, Tongo Tongo locals notified Nigerian military that they had found the remains of a soldier. At 1200 hours, the Nigerian military arrived at the location of Sergeant Le David Johnson. When Sergeant Johnson was found by Nigerian forces, he was beneath the dense canopy of a thorny tree. Sergeant Johnson was found lying on his back with his arms to his sides. His hands were not bound. Sergeant Johnson was clothed, though his boots and serviceable equipment had been removed by the enemy. The investigation determined Sergeant Johnson was not captured alive. His remains were transferred to U.S. custody at 1522 hours.